Thank you so, so much for that fascinating session. Um, next, ladies and gentlemen, we have an open mic with Dr. Ibrahim al Mashreki, embryologist and genetic engineer. Welcome. Okay. Good day. How are you all? Uh, this is Ibrahim al Mashriqi, genetic engineer, a human tissue developer, and embryologist. It's all about women, actually, and that's why I'm here today to talk about an important topic. And it's really important. First of all, let me thank you all. Thanks for having me. And real big thanks for Forbes and Women's Summit 2024. Thank you. We would like to talk about an important topic, which is talking about a big challenge. Every woman, after 38 years old, she could face such a challenge that she wants to become pregnant. But unfortunately, because of health issues, she can't. We will talk about cryopreservation, or oocyte cryopreservation, or egg freezing, or Tajmeed al buwaydat and Al-Nisa. It's a real important topic because you know any woman could find challenge to become pregnant because of health issues. She could have, for example, breast cancer, any kind of cancer. This will lead to lose her capability and potential to become mother because of chemotherapy, because of hormonal therapy, or even radiotherapy. That doesn't mean if you have a cancer or a breast cancer or any kind of cancer to lose, to lose the sense to be imam. So medicine here is serving you. We are all with you. Don't worry. Other issue also, maybe a woman not planning to become ma a mother now because of so many factors or because she didn't find a suitable soulmate or husband in this period of time it should not take a, a, a wrong decision, just I want to become pregnant, I, I have to become a mom, so I have to marry as soon as possible. No, this does not exist. No anymore in 2024. Why? I would like to give you a brief about egg fertilization or oocyte cryopreservation. It's a real simple issue. What we do that we retrieve the oocyte or the egg from the woman by two ways, even. If she is a married woman, we can retrieve the oocyte by ultrasound uh, or transvaginal ultrasound by a simple technique. Or if she is single woman, she is not married, also we can collect her oocyte. A simple technique also by a minor surgery, just under GA, we can collect them simply and easily. What we do after collecting those oocytes, those oocytes, is immature oocyte or immature cells. We collect it from her ovaries. Then by making a kind of tissue culturing, we make a culturing for those oocyte cells to become from uh, immature oocyte to mature oocyte, then to ovarian tissues. Now you're gonna say, for example, how could we save our uh, ovaries? How we could save our oocytes? It's all possible because we, put, uh, we don't freeze actually the oocyte by itself, but we do freeze the tissue. And we put it in a, a fluid, it's a special one, to keep it and to prevent any kind of denaturation or protein denaturation for this kind of oocyte. So you can keep those oocytes for a long period of time, even for a couple of years or maybe also for 10 years. When you find that you are ready to become pregnant, then you can come to our center, any genetic center, and then you can proceed with this technique. What we have to know is that women after 38 years old, unfortunately, we have to accept this fact that the quality of their egg, the quality of their oocyte, unfortunately, dramatically goes down. The quality of their oocyte. That doesn't mean that I have to marry at 35. That doesn't mean that at all, no. Now we have solutions. So what we do, we collect all of those oocytes in a liquid nitrogen with minus 160 celsius in our bank and we keep those oocytes. 
when she proceed with her treatment, when she finish, for example, her chemotherapy or hormonal therapy or whatever kind of challenge that she's facing, she can come simply to any clinic, to our clinic, and to get back her oocyte with her husband, and then we're gonna proceed with the second step, which is egg fertilization or IVF or assistive reproductive technology. Now we have the cell by itself. All okay, all great. So we can make a kind of revitalization for oocyte cell by incubator at 37 Celsius, and we can use those oocyte in a simple technique. And then we can use assistive, re assistive reproductive technology, whether it's IVF, ICS, intracytoplasmic sperm injection, we decide which is the better procedure for her. And then we're gonna make a fertilization by bringing uh, male sperm with those oocytes, by uh, incubation, we can have a plastocyte cell. Plastocyte, we mean it's an embryo cell. We can have so many embryos, by the way, and we can make a kind of a chromatography to determine the sex of this, uh, the gender of this embryo, or we can make so many kind of a chromatography or screening. For example, if this baby will be abnormal or any kind of, even the abortion, we can buy chromatography and uh, chromosome screening. We can determine which, which kind of problems gonna face with this embryo. So we choose the best embryo ever, and then we get it back to woman, and uh, the woman can become pregnant and simple issue. Back again, always science with you as women. Always science finds solutions. We are always keen to search, to work, to find the better solution for a human. How to improve our life equality. No need to be, unfortunately, facing challenges because of no reason. You know now, for example, breast cancer, the cure rate of breast cancer. Do you know the cure rate of breast cancer, especially in early stages? You're going to cure 99%. You will cure 99%, but you have to undergo specific procedures. Okay, so, for example, a lady 25 years old, she had such obstacle, she had such disease, she has to, to take uh, a, a chemotherapy or hormonal therapy. Does that mean to lose her right to become a mom? No, definitely not. That's why she can come to any genetic center and she can also consult her gynecologist and to take the best instruction and consultation ever. Now, in Saudi Arabia, if you're gonna ask me, for example, is the service available in Saudi Arabia? Yes, it is actually. And Saudi Arabia now leader in such technique. So you can refer to any hospital, to any genetic center here in Saudi Arabia, and they're gonna help you according to your state and according to what you feel. So back again, we are all with you. Feel always safe, feel, all, uh, sa feel always free, and always follow your sense. Don't feel afraid because of any reasons. And thank you. Thank you back again, Forbes and Women's Summit 2024. Thank you.